So here I have a simple circuit made up of a couple of batteries, a couple of light bulbs, and some wire that I made out of aluminum foil. So when I take this extra wire and I place it across the circuit, you can see that the light bulbs go out. This is called an electrical short. The reason it happens is that electricity wants to take the easiest path through the circuit that it can. and It's easier for the electricity to go through the wire I just added than it is to go through the light bulbs. Now electrical shorts are a problem for a couple of reasons. First of all, you can see the light bulbs went out. This circuit stopped doing what it was supposed to do. And if an electrical short happens inside of an electronic device, that device is just going to stop working. But another more dangerous problem that can happen with shorts it involves fire. Whenever electricity goes through a circuit, it generates heat. And so if this gets hot enough, it can start a fire. And if electrical shorts happen in your house, there's enough electricity going through those shorts that they get very hot very quickly. And that can start a fire. So here's my question to you. What can I do to protect this circuit from electrical shorts? Take a minute and discuss that with your classmates and see what you come up with. Now in order to solve a problem like this, it's important that you understand the physical properties of the materials that we're using. For example, I used aluminum to make my wires out of. That's because metals, like aluminum, are great conductors of electricity and I need my circuit to be a closed conducting path. But in order to protect my circuit and prevent electrical shorts, I need to wrap my wires in an insulator. And that's what I've done. I've taken these plastic drinking straws and I've run my wire down the middle. So that plastic is insulating the circuit. And so if I put my extra wire across the top now, it doesn't create an electrical short. The light bulbs stay lit. That's because the plastic is insulating the wire and protecting it from electrical shorts. This is why all the wires in your house are also wrapped in plastic. It's to protect the wire going through the middle and to insulate those wires to prevent electrical shorts because short circuits can be a big problem. Now, I'm sure this is a solution that you and your classmates came up with. Keep up the great work. I'll see you next time.